All right, let's get to it. We're gonna start with our cheese mixture. We'll get a little uh, cilantro in there and get the flavors going. All right, we're going to get our egg in here in a few seconds. So when it cooks up, you know, that, that, that cheese mixture, it sets up and it, and it has your roll like nice and firm. Alright, right here we're gonna um, get our cheese going. Um, I used the uh, Monterey and a Kobe Jack mixture. Uh, you can use any kind of cheese you like. Um, I like pepper jack cheese too. Um, I'm gonna do these again. I'm gonna do a seafood one you know, with shrimp, crab. I think I'll throw a little pepper jack and Greer. All right, we got some Cajun bait right here. This is some good stuff, full of flavor. Not a lot of sodium, not too salty. We got the garlic blend, and the first one was a sweet onion blend. Really good stuff. What's up, Cajun bait? Shots out to Cajun bait. Seasoning. And if you don't have the uh, Cajun bait, you can use a... Um, um, garlic powder and onion powder. So right here I have a half an onion. We're gonna get a, a nice dice on these. We're gonna get them um, ready for our skillet. All right, let's get these onions in. Um, I have this a uh, cast iron skillet on a medium high heat. Um, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, uh, I highly advise you to get one. These things are the go-to. Well, it's my go-to anyway. But yeah, um, invest in one, man. Try Walmart. I got these uh, Genio pre-seasoned taco flavor uh, round turkey. Uh, it's pretty good. I added a little more uh, taco seasoning to it, like maybe a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon, something like that. Um, but it's pretty pretty convenient. Okay, let's get our pot ready for the lasagna noodles. Ooh, your boy got to go on a diet, boy. Look at that. Christmas and Thanksgiving did a number on me. <laughs> oh. We're going to get that handled, though. All right, let's get these noodles in. Um, I boiled these down 10 minutes, and that was it. And yeah, hey folks, when you get your salsa, make sure you get your favorite one because it makes a difference. It's going to blend in with all the meat. 
and every and everything else. So that's a very important pro tip. All right, right here I went with uh, black beans. You can use pinto beans, um, anything you like. Um, you can put jalapenos in there, corn. You can make a, a southwestern roll up. You know, whatever. All right, after uh, 10 minutes, pull the noodles out. Now we want to stop the cooking process, so I just added uh, cold water. I let them sit for a second. Okay, now we want to get our cheese mixture down. Uh, this is kind of tricky right here. Um, you want to get, you know, pretty much a lot of that moisture off. Because when I was putting the cheese down, it was kind of sliding around. So that's something I found out. That's what I like about cooking, you know, everything is like hands on. You find out as you go. Now, um, time for the meat mixture. A lot of flavors being built here. All right, these are tricky with these gloves on. Um, I had to remove them, remove the gloves. Um, they were just too slippery. And I finished the rest off camera. And after 40 minutes, uh, you remove it from the oven, remove the foil, add your cheese, put it in another 10 minutes, and you're done. And there you have it, folks. Lasagna roll-ups. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.